Hi everyone and welcome to uh, what will be a very short edition of Bag and Board this time because basically I've just got one item that I want to share with you. Now today I was going past my local branch of the works which is the discount bookstore and as always I'm never able to just go past the works. I've always got to pop in just on the off chance they've got, that they've got something um, new which is comic related. Anyway today they did so I was very happy about that. And here it is. It's a hardback book and it's called DC Comics Supervillains, The Complete Visual History. Um, now, this is a hardback book which was originally £30 according to the price on the back here. And it's been discounted to £8, which obviously is a very good saving. It's published by Bantam Press, but it is official DC Comics merchandise because there's the DC Comics logo there up at the top. Now, the only thing about this, I've never actually seen this book before and every copy that they had in stock was actually shrink wrapped. So it was a bit of a gamble in that I wasn't able to actually flip through a copy before deciding whether to buy it or not. But in the end, I thought, well, for £8, um, it's not really that much of a gamble uh, because there's going to be enough in here to kind of interest me because I am really, in terms of the big two, much more of a DC fan than I am a Marvel fan. And if somebody said to me, for example, for the rest of your life, you can only choose between DC or Marvel, for me, it'd be DC all the way. Um, <clears throat> what I did do, actually, when I was in the shop, I did also, uh, on my uh, telephone, go on to the Amazon uh, website just to see if anybody had put any comments about this book. Um, on there, it had been reduced to, I think, about £20, and all of the comments were very, very good. Um, so I thought, well, I can't really go wrong. So anyway, just going to open this up so that you can have a little bit of a look uh, with me to see what's in here. Got to be careful that I don't actually damage the book here. Now, what I'll say while I'm just um, taking this cellophane off is a lot of people might not live near to a branch of the works. Um, if that's the case, they do do um, delivery uh, via their website. And if you spend over amount, an amount, which I'm not sure whether it's 20 or 30 pounds, it is free delivery. But also, um, if you go into your local branch and they don't actually have this in stock if you want it or any particular item um, that you want, um, if you order it on the website, they will deliver it to your local branch for free. So that's always worth knowing. OK, so here it is. Um, what I've noticed straight away is um, the dust jacket is not a, a glossy one. It's one of those that's got quite a little bit of a matte finish. Although the the part where it's got the title and the authors, they are actually glossy. So feels quite nice. So taking a look inside. Now with it saying it's a visual history, I'm imagining that there's going to be more uh, pictures than there are words. Um, but that's not always a bad thing. Oh, now, 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 here's something that I wasn't expecting. On the inside back cover here, there's an envelope. It doesn't mention anything about this on the website or on the book itself. I'm imagining there's going to be a, some kind of a print in here. This is a complete surprise to me. Ah, well, it's not a print, it's a poster. And it looks very much as if it's the cover of the book. Oh, very nice, very, very nice. So there it is. That's the, um, the full version of the uh, wraparound cover. Is it on the back? Let me just check. Yes, it is. So that is the full 
uh, image that's on the dust jacket of the book. There it is. So that was a surprise. Wasn't, really wasn't expecting that. There's no indication anywhere that that's going to be in there. Okay, on to the book itself. Um, I'll just see if there's a page count. Um, looks to be around about 160 pages, so that's not bad. Um, it's going to be difficult to show you this, uh, but I'll try my best. Yeah, um, obviously it, it is principally images, uh, but there is text, so there's, there's plenty of reading there. Um, there's Killer Frost. Um, presumably this is going to be like profiles of all the major villains and I'm sure there'll be people who complain that there's ones that are missed out um, but you're always going to get that you're not going to be able to please everybody so flicking through yeah that's it's a really nice book um, beautiful paper really nice images and some reading matter as well. So there you go. I won't flip through anymore. You get the general idea, and that was the main thing. Um, it was mainly to kind of highlight, if you do have a local branch of the works available uh, to you, that that now is on sale. Um, as I say, it, it must be new because I go in there quite regularly, and that's the first time I've seen it. Um, so if you like the look of it, pop in and see if you can pick up a copy. So that's it guys, um, thanks very much for watching as always and as ever uh, please feel free to either subscribe or comment if you like the video thumbs up, if you didn't thumbs down but please tell me in the comments why you didn't like it. Um, there will be another video quite shortly because I've got some books that I've picked up in the last week or so that I want to um, do a, a little video on to show you those so hopefully that will be in the next two or three days. So um, take care guys and again thanks for watching.